So we've just taken delivery of the Mercury Avatar 7.5e electric outboard. And in this video, we're gonna have a look what's in the box. And then later we're gonna test it out on the water. The Avatar is shipped in three boxes. So the electric motor, the battery, and the battery charger. So there's three separate boxes. So I'll pull the top cover off. And this is how it's shipped. We've got a separate box. There's some transom screws if you want to permanently connect it to your transom. Documentation pack and the outboard motor safely packed inside this box. And that's everything that's in the outboard box. So the documentation pack contains the operation and installation manual. Warranty information. A registration card. And a battery charging status data sheet shows you the status lights on the battery charger and on the unit. And a little template for drilling the transom if you want to use the transom bolts. This is the 110 watt battery charger that comes with the Avatar. And this will charge the battery from flat to full in about nine hours. So it's an overnight operation. Uh, there are faster chargers available. There's a 230 watt, which does it in about four and a half, five hours. But this is just standard um, battery charger, uh, specially designed for the lithium ion battery that's uh, in the Avatar. So this is the Avatar uh, lithium ion battery. So what? A 1,030 watt hour battery um, and it slots straight into the Avatar. And in the box, well packaged, that is the battery. It weighs 7.7 .7 kilos and slots straight into the top of the Avatar. And on top, there's a button. You press that button and you've got a charge status indicator. So this shows we've only got 25% of charge inside the unit, so it needs to go on charge. It's brand new, out of the box, so I need to put it on charge before we run the test. It's very simple to connect the battery charger to the battery. Under the top side, there's a port and the plug on the battery charger can only go in one way. And just plug the charger in and away you go. The battery's now plugged into the battery charger and the battery charger has a, an LED here, which is red for charging and green when it's fully charged. And also on top of the battery, you'll see the green status lights illuminating to show that it's charging. Before we go out on the water, um, let's just look at some of the specifications of the 7.5e. The 7.5e is related to the power output at the prop shaft, which is 750 watts. So that's what the 7.5e uh, indicates. It's not 7.5 horsepower. It's roughly the equivalent of a three and a half horsepower four stroke petrol outboard. And if, if you look at the Mercury or the Mariner three and a half horsepower four stroke on a full tank of fuel, the integral fuel tank of one liter, the run time's about an hour. On this, on a full battery charge, the run time is about an hour. Performance wise, the acceleration uh, top end is pretty similar to a 3.5 horsepower petrol. The Avatar is not the lightest electric outboard on the market. All in with the battery inserted and the transom clamp 
uh, attached to the outboard, you're looking at 20, just over 27 kilos. Normally, you, uh, you wouldn't transport it with the battery slotted in. So the battery is 7.7 .7 kilos, so that reduces the weight. And if the transom clamp is also left on the boat, then you're looking at a transportation weight of 16 and a half kilos thereabouts. The tiller handle will lock in the downward position and you can carry it using this tiller handle and it's perfectly balanced once in this position. So it's not difficult to transport. So the tiller handle on the side is a traditional type of keel cord with a buckle to attach to your belt or wrap around your leg. Underneath there is a friction screw to adjust the friction of the twist throttle. This lever either side, one either side, is the tiller lock lever. And there's another lever here where you can adjust, lift it and adjust the yaw of the tiller handle. So you can have dead center, 12 degrees to the right and 12 degrees to the left. So depending on which side of the dinghy you sat or the boat you sat, you can point the tiller and handle towards you for greater comfort. There is a tilt lock here. So when it's unlocked, you can trim the engine up for shallow water or right up to the maximum tilt position. The other great design feature about this motor is the quick release button or lever to remove the outboard from the transom clamp. So say if you, if you have the transom clamp bolted, there's two holes on the front to bolt it to the transom and you just want to take the motor off for security, you can just pull this and lift and then back on. You can disable that feature. There's a screw on the side that, um, that disables that quick release feature if you're worried about it. If you just want it bolted to the transom and you're worried about someone taking it, you can do that. But it's a really nice um, weight. Well, it reduces weight when you're carrying the engine. And if you don't need to carry this bracket around, why not leave it on the, on the boat? So to me, the most impressive feature with this outboard is the battery integration. There's a little sliding latch underneath, above the display underneath the cowl, which lifts the top of the cowl. And inside here, this is where you slot your battery in. There's a weather cap that goes above the connection to protect that when the battery is not installed. And the battery just slots in, locks in place. And you're away to go. Now, if you were using the outboard at greater ranges than one battery is capable of, very simple to slot another battery in. There are a whole range of carry cases for batteries and, and for the outboard, but you could have another battery spare um, that you can simply slot in. The battery on its own is IP67 waterproof, and once in here, is protected by the cowl. To turn on the outboard, you just press the on button. There's a loud audible beep, and it shows you the remaining battery capacity as a percentage and also a, a bar. Also shows you, there's a little F up in the top here. That shows you the direction of the throttle. 
So if you twist clockwise, you're going in the forward uh, motion. Now you can change this, so you can set it up so if you twist if you twist clockwise, it will go into the reverse. So great for people who, uh, for suit people's preferences. Some people prefer to twist anti-clockwise to go forward. Some people uh, prefer to twist clockwise, but it gives you the choice. Other screens on here, um, a bit meaningless at the moment. It's got a built-in GPS, so it knows our, our speed um, and can work out range, uh, that sort of thing. But we're not actually moving at the moment, so most of that is pretty meaningless until we get out on the water. To power it off, just press and hold. There's a countdown and off it goes. So I put the transom clamp onto the dinghy. So that could be there as a permanent fixture. There's two holes that you can bolt it or you can just use the thumb screws to fit it onto the transom. And now I'm going to put the Avatar onto the, onto the clamp. Now this is its carrying position with the handle like this. So to put it on the transom, we lift the locking lever. That's now locked in place in the upright position. And the motor's now fit, fitted onto the transom bracket. So I've got the Avatar on the Windward 3.8 V-Rib and we're going to take it out in QAB and see how it performs with two of us on board. And then we're going to compare it to a Mariner three and a half horsepower four stroke. Okay, so um, we just tootled out into QAB and we're going to do um, a little acceleration test. We're at 97% and I'm just opening up. It's certainly got plenty of grunt instant power um it's two on board um and we're building up over four knots wide open throttle four knots 4.2 4.3 so about 4.3 knots um we're going against the wind there's no tide here um not at the moment and we're in a 3.8 meter v rib inflatable floor v-rib 4.5 knots now at this speed uh, full open throttle wide open throttle we should be able to maintain this for an hour immediately the first thing you notice is how quiet the engine is it's really really quiet quieter than other electric outboards i've used super quiet and the throttle response is instantaneous so i just want to see what the reverse performance is like um, so, yep, there's plenty of grunt going backwards as well, so they've obviously got the prop right. Okay, so we're on a windward 3.8 metre inflatable with a V hole, and uh, we've got a Mariner 3.5 four stroke outboard, and um, we're going to see how it performs with two people on board uh, and we're going against the wind and I'm just going to open it up and see on the GPS what sort of top end we get. So we've topped out at 4.9 knots. Five knots. Five point two knots. So the Avatar, the first impressions are love the torque. It's got great acceleration, it's very smooth, extremely quiet and very well engineered. Um, run times, they claim 
one hour at full throttle uh, and I think that's about right. There are other videos out there that, that prove this um, and certainly we've noticed in this test that if you run at half throttle the, um, the battery percentage uh, drops very slowly as opposed to full throttle. So uh, extremely quiet, well built and um, uh, great torque.